you beautiful people, welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Let's go ahead and continue where we left off. We need to go to the racetrack to basically impersonate the prince because he cannot ride a horse to save his life. Prince Ferris, yes, his highness is through here. This is in the royal dressing room. You may enter, but remember, be respectful, please. All right, I'll be respectful. I'll even take his place. <laughs> they won't embarrass himself. Thanks, Sarah. I was beginning to worry that I might actually have to ride and ride a horse. I'll come the race will begin shortly and fear not. I remember my promise. If you do as we agreed, I'll ask my father about the branch. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Good. Now hurry, you must don the royal Galumpian armor and helm. If you're not, they will fit you perfectly, I'm sure. Patrick takes the prince's armor and helm and puts them on. It's as if they were made for you. No one will suspect for a moment that you are in fact not in fact the prince of Galapagos. Now the race is about to begin. My, sorry, your steed awaits you outside. Once you are safely mounted, make your way through the paddock. The racetrack flies beyond. Meet me afterward in the passageway that leads to the racetrack. You will give me the helm, and no one will be any wiser. Now go, and remember, you are the Prince of Galapagos, and your public expect great things from you. Do not make a fool of me. Sure. Horse. Gallop. The answer is to the track, Your Highness. Are you sure you're... Yes. Sure. What could go wrong? This is uh, no ordinary sand national. Uh, wow. Oh, I was pressed to uh, press. Prince <laughs> Varys. Uh. Put her in that boar costume. It must be wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? Wow. The name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey! Oh boy, another annoying character. Please tell me he does not join my party, because that would be terrible. Uh, hold right trigger to send your horse speeding ahead. Press X to tug on the reins for a nice tight turn in those tricky corners. Okay. Your trusty seed stamina will steadily subside as it tears around the track, but pop it up by running through a green swirl or three and back down the running. Okay. Oh! Oh boy. This is... This is not as easy as I had thought.
Okay, I think I'm... Well, looks like I'm getting second. Well, could have been worse. than I had anticipated. <laughs> oh, now quickly, quiet. my public await. I shall take the reins from him. <laughs> oh, great. He's still going to embarrass himself. Watch this. Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh boy. Cheers of Prince Ferris is adoring. The public fills the air as he makes his way onto the track. Oh boy. Praise the fates. Our plan was a success. Was it? Thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. <gasps> you better. Uh oh. <sighs> Hail Prince Faris, pride of the desert, horseman extraordinaire. Darling, you are fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 oh. uh -oh. Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance. <gasps> Oh, this is too, too good! Yeah. Wait, wait! But you do not understand the pressure I am under! A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom! I yep. did what was necessary for the sake of my people! And now, all can be forgotten. Yes? You really think he's gonna forget? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. Oh boy! A thousand pardons, your highness. <gasps> <laughs> Pushes it back into the corner. Enter. The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Oh, I'm sure it has. Very good. I will come right away. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. And whatever happened to the other guy that was in the room? So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. No. Please no. <laughs> oh, I hate you. for helping Prince Ferris out of a stupid situation by taking his place in the Sand National. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. What? You've been in there this whole time. On the matter of the Prince for a beautifully Sultan must have been impressed. He summoned his beloved son to the throne room immediately after the race. Jamie, that you missed it, but do not soon for yourself unduly. The exciting event will... Ugh, fine. What is the next issue that we have? 
Ooh, a quest. Much longer must I wait. Why must the sands torture me so? A good day to you, you... You are perhaps wondering why I'm standing here. Yes, the truth is, I am a painter and I'm waiting for a scene worthy of being memorialized by my hand. I've already envisioned the sort of image I would like to paint. A mighty, magnificent conflict unfolding in the desert. Ew. The last sands have yet to oblige me. There is something missing. But what could it be? The effort... The setting is perfect and there are plenty of spits fires. How about, of course, conflict, cataclysm, chaotic conflict in the form of magnificent moves, such as well. Such as well, Tide. Wait, perhaps you could assist me, venture out to the celestial sands, and slay a Spitzfire by unleashing your wild side. That will provide me a tableau truly worthy of my talents. I will not refuse a struggling artist in his hour of need. Um, if I could get there, sure. Now, before you venture out into the sands, I feel I should remind you that Wild Sight can only be performed by three very specific people that should give you an idea of its power and its beauty. You want to know exactly who exactly needs to be pepped up in order to perform simply select attributes from the menu and press A to find more about pep powers. Okay, attributes. Thank you. Okay. Attributes. Everyone? No. Uh, spells. This does not tell me anything. I guess I'll have to look that up later. Go ahead and see what the thing has to say. Oh. Oh, that is just a guard. I don't want to talk to a guard. is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. <coughs> Liar. Uh, father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. Yeah, not Thank really. Thank you, Father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rain. Um. Your Majesty. Let me guess. The rainbow has been stolen. The beast has returned. No. It oh, attacked okay. one of our men while we were out on patrol. <laughs> the Slayer of the Sands is back. Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest oh knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. <laughs> but wait. Uh... My boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. Oh, boy. What? Bah, 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 but, but, oh, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. He's a freaking coward. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> no, he's just trembling with fear. This is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. Oh, he'll but take his place in this I, history, just not the way you I, want. Oh, very, very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. Run away! A 
thousands pardons. The, the rain bar will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. Mm, let me guess, I'm taking your place again. Uh, uh, just breathe, Faris. Wow, he's pathetic. Oh, this guy has a quest. Prince Ferris, I believe his highness has returned to his chambers to prepare for his expedition in the sands. Blah, 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 blah. Something I already know. I believe this is his chambers. I beg of you, the slayer of the sands yep, will tear so. me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul. Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No. No! No, such a thing is impossible. I am no knight. I neglected my training. I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me. Oh, dear God. Oh, it is not my fault. I am an only child. I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements. Oh, I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. So you're a coward and a liar. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. <laughs> Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom, and through no fault of my own. Oh, no fault? Right. Yeah. Please, will you take pity on your old friend? Old friend? I just know you. Um, no. I am begging you. Begging. Uh, fine. Oh, thank you. Ten thousand thank yous! <laughs> and fear not, I will speak to my father and We must make preparations to depart immediately! I will await you at the castle gates! Ay ay ay. Eric, what have I gotten myself into? What a pathetic excuse for a prince! Goodness knows what'll become of Galopolis with him in charge! You said it. For once we agree on something. Mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. Pathetic. <laughs> well, let's see where we have to go now. Uh, who are you? Uh, they appear to be heading out of the city and the fact there seems to be quite some commotion. Out of the city already? Okay. Can I have a horse while I go out of the city as well? Oh, there he is. Oh, there you are. I have instructed my men to wait outside the city gates. Come and join us as soon as you're ready. I mean no disrespect, your highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Wow. Fear not. Trust <laughs> the Danes. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Ah, impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. <laughs> The beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We okay. march immediately for Galopolis. For Galopolis. Yeah! 
<laughs> yeah. No one looks particularly happy. Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast, huh? No, I don't want him in my party. Oh, go away. There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Um... No. <laughs> Playing hard to get, huh? Ooh, you are a one. I'm not letting you leave without me, though. You need me even if you don't know it yet. Lead on, darling! Uh... And we have more deadweight that has joined our party. <laughs> so fun, yay! Me shiny. Uh, better not have joined our party permanently. Well, uh, let's see, I think it's yeah, it's just the right here. I don't know why they don't have a gate to this area. I mean, look, you could just take a, I don't know, something from the Sultana instead of making things go around. Also, your sound is on the loose. I can't allow you to, oh, be the ones of your company, Prince Ferris. Yes, a thousand pardons. His Highness has asked us to be instructed to go along through. Well, okay. Uh, none of this stuff themes super hard. Ooh, ooh. See the shinies. Oh, is that it? What is this? A Spitfire? this thing uh, set to everyone's actions the same. It allows me to control everyone's actions. Ooh, okay. Have powers? Squirt shirt? No. We don't want that. Um, let's just attack it. Oh. Well, that was... Okay. Who are you? I'm a researcher here from Sniffleheim. Sold of Galapagos is giving me special permission to investigate these ancient ruins. The stars can be seen so, so clearly from here in the desert. That is why I'm thinking that these stones were used in some sort of star-related ceremony. Huh, okay. Where exactly are we heading? Oh, I see horses. Ooh, there's a chest. I didn't want to hit those. Five hit points to a single ally. Let's go, Eric. Four, three. 
me. He missed. Um, bang. That works. What did that do? Okay, just heal me. Aha, uh -huh, hepped up. Okay. Heck him. Oh. Sweet. I didn't get hit by him. All right, Mr. Mopey. Oh, you baby. There you are. As you can see, I have decided to set up camp. We will continue our quest in the morning. Nasra, you get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. Come on, you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? No, I don't want to chat with you. You're annoying. So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic. But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans. No. To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. Hey, Veronica actually has some... something up there. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. Yeah. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. <laughs> You've got a strange idea of fun. What yeah. about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? Oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kiddies. Betty buys. So you just fished for information. You didn't give us anything. I already don't like him. And again, I didn't like Veronica when she first joined either. We don't really like her too much either. Well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal? Morning campers, I hope you slept well. We've got a slayer to catch. A little princey poo and his friends set off at first slate. We better hurry if we want to catch up with them. Well, you can just stay there and do whatever it is, whatever it is you do. Ooh, looks like something powerful. A flight on. Um, settings, battle mode. Yes. Uh, tactics, everyone, line up. Fight. Oh, what? Excellent. Easy peasy. Well, that was not worth the experience.
I guess we're uh, going this way. Pernicious Peninsula. Well, okay. Ooh, shiny. Wing of bat. Oh, there they are. The Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. Ah. Clearly, he is no longer here. The cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. That's not a success, considering he told us to capture it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that looks a little bit scary. Up and Adam Principal, show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. He's gonna run. Looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. You soldiers, beat the ears and look after him, will you? <laughs> Come on, gang. This little drama needs a hero or two. You're definitely not a hero. Okay, let's see if I can't. Careful now. Settings, battle mode. Form fighting. Super fast. Tactics. Eric. Show no mercy, show no mercy. Focus on healing. There we go. Nice! Oh, ouch. Okay, let's see. Flame Slash. 38, not bad. 26. Ooh. Did his attack even do anything? I... Don't know what he's doing. Ooh! Wow. Dang, Eric. 83 damage? Uh-oh. Armored down. Not very nice. Okay, good. All right, pep powers. Can we? There's all three power party members to be pepped up. Some of the sigil that sends the chance of your party casting critical spells to the roof. This is all allies defense magical mending by quite a bit. Huh. Well, it looks like I need Eric for wild side. Seven, eighteen. 
30. Ooh, twice. Ow. He confused me. Oh. Oh. Okay, spells. Let's see. Bang, sizz. Oh, bang. 20. Oh, only her spells go twice. Interesting. 1400 experience, 1000 gold. Decelerate. No. That will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. <laughs> The Slayer of the Sands is bested. All in a day's work for the Prince of Galopolis. <laughs> Liar. You saw me, man, did you not? You saw the People's Prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Of course, Your Highness. <sighs> Let's see how all this goes. <sighs> You have my thanks, Fred. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your you. heroic feat. Valuable contribution. You mean I still all have my hard work. forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. And if you don't, we blackmail you. Really, Principal? That's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? <laughs> He's gonna put a point. You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? I think that's exactly what he's trying to say. <sighs> I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. <laughs> to Galopolis, men, we return as heroes. Yeah. Oh, well, this feels all kinds of wrong. You're right, Silvando. Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. Yep. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves. <laughs> All right, we are finally back in the city. Let's see if uh, the prince actually confesses. I mean, if you say so. Hey! <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. The future of our kingdom is surely safe in the hands of one so gallant and chivalrous as he. Now come, heroic conqueror, address your people. Beloved Gallopolitans, yes, I captured the beast. But I did not act alone. <laughs> For it was your love, your adoration that gave me the strength I so needed. Yes! Ugh. <laughs> and it is that same love that oh. will allow me to continue it's gonna break out. you until my dying death. We 
have no need to be afraid. Prince Faris will protect us. <laughs> yes, yes, we have nothing to fear with the prince on our side. And watch him run away. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, my boy, your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. Are you aware now? Repeat after me now. A knight's word? A, a knight's word is his bond, his kingdom, his master. Huh? 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 <gasps> well, don't stop. <laughs> he serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly, and and never retreats in the face of adversity. Ugh. That's more like it. Now, my little principal, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? I... I wish to be remembered as a knight of Colopolis! And he's going to die. Oh, you lucky. Oh. Darling, you were wonderful. Amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it, huh? You just used him with bait. Wait. Did you? I won't always be here to remind you what it means to be a knight, though. Better not go forgetting again, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, wait, a friend, where did you become so well versed in the ways of chivalry? Are you a knight? Doubtful. Who, me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm just a silly old jester. <laughs> yeah, something says no. And he who captured the Slayer of the Sands. Forgive me. Well, he is your father. Maybe he will. Faris, oh, look at me. The burden that was placed upon you. It was more than any boy could be expected to bear. Wow, understanding. It is I who must apologize, not you. But rest assured that I have learned my lesson. I will not make the same mistake again. But and you will need training. I've learned something too. Despite your protestations, the bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. What's it though? Sir Hendrik will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I am sure. <sighs> your dream will come true at last. I am so pleased for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hendrik. Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? Oh, boy. Ah, but I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. It is a royal treasure, of course. But surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. 
Certainly, certainly. But my boy, I sold the rainbow to a traveling merchant. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> what? What would compel you to sell one of our most precious treasures? Are you blind, boy? Did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's Sand National? We made a sacrifice for your sake. Oof. Father, I... Forgive me. All I can tell you is that the merchant to whom I sold the rainbow headed west towards Gondolia. Okay. So I guess Gondolia is our next letter will grant you passage through the place to go. That leads there. Perhaps someone can tell you what became of the branch. <laughs> well, at least we got our has to get through the checkpoint. Uh, uh, ow. A thousand pardons. I did not know that the rainbow was no longer in the kingdom. Truly, I did not. Yeah, great. Here we go. Another pathetic person joining our party. It is scant consolation, I am sure. But please, take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan Knight. It allows one to provoke distant foes into combat and is an excellent way to gain battle experience. Or so I am told. Because you've never used it? <laughs> oh. The crossbow. done our kingdom a great service should you ever need our assistance you need only say the word the word and as for me i will be sorry to see you leave but i'm sure there will be other gallum <coughs> kindly travelers along soon enough oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's it for this episode of Dragon Quest XI. Go to the next one where I go to the next town, like, subscribe, and stick around. I have another one for you soon. Alright, bye.